Alright, hi guys. We meet again in our second video. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the second method of the bracketing methods. We call it as the false position method or also known as the linear interpolation method. So, for this method, imagine you have a function here. You have an fx and you have x here. And again, for this false position method, since it is a bracketing method, so you need to have two initial guesses of x, which brackets your root. So you need your xl and your xu. So this method exploits graphical insight to join the points by a straight line. So here, this is your xl. And if you substitute your xl into this function, you will get your fxl here, this value of fxl. And this is your xu, okay? This is your fxu value. And here at the x-axis is your xu. So if you take a line, a linear line you draw from your fxl towards your fxu, you will have an intersection here a point that intersects with the x-axis. Now you can actually call this point your xr, the estimation of your root. Alright, this in the, the intersection of this line with the x-axis represent an improved estimate of the root. And the replacement of the curve with a straight line. So originally you have a curve here, you see this blue curve. When you replace this blue curve with just a straight line, it actually gives you a false position for the root. Now, this, this point here, which intersects with the correct original curve of the function, okay, this point here is the real true root. And this point, xr here, is just your estimation of the root. So, how to actually calculate your xr, okay, you can use this formula here. xr equals to xu minus fxu times xl minus xu divided by fxl minus fxu, okay? You can use this formula. How are you going to work on the false position method? It is actually similar to bisection method. The only difference is that the calculation or the formula to calculate the xr. In bisection, it is xr equals to xl plus xu divided by 2. But for the false position method, you actually follow the same procedure, only that your formula to calculate xr is much more bigger and much different compared to the bisection method. Okay, so here are the steps of the calculation for the false position method. You know, you can see, as you can see, that it is very, very similar to bisection method, only that the difference is in the formula to calculate the XR. The rest are all the same. So, step one, usually you can skip uh, if your Initial guesses of XL and XU are given, but if it's not given, in which you need to guess or you need to choose, then you need to follow this, uh, this term. So the second step is once you know your XL and XU, you can then calculate your XR using this formula. And next is make following evaluation. So this is very, very similar. It's typically identical to the bisection method. All right, so you can actually memorize this for both bisection and false position method. Okay, um, next is, okay, for this false position method, I'm not going to show any example because it is just very, very similar to bisection. But what I want you to do is that I want you to uh, try on your own these exercises, I have two exercises here. Please try this on your own. All right, determine the root of this function using three iterations of the false position method, given initial guesses of 
xl equals to 1 and xu equals to 3. And also, you are asked to compute ea after each iteration. Now, the other one is this uh, problem. Find the positive square root of 18 using the false position method to within ES equals 0.5%. And you need to employ initial guesses of XL equals to 4 and XU equals to 5. So here, um, the function is not given, but it says that positive square root of 18. So try to think of it. It's quite tricky, but I know you can do it, guys. All right. In the next clip, I'm going to show you how to come up with a function from the given expression. I actually ask you to find the positive square root of 18, all right, using false position. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to solve the false position method. It's your job. But what I'm going to give you a clue here, since it doesn't provide any function, you know that bisection and false position, you can, these two methods are used to solve the root for function. But this one given here is in a uh, in terms of equation, positive square root of 18. So what you can do is, what does it mean by actually positive square root? Square root of 18. So it's actually like this. This is the square root of 18, right? So you can actually put x here. x is the positive square root of 18. And to, um, to make your calculation simpler without having to um, play around with the square root, you can actually put x squared equals to 18. So now you, from, from this point, you have reached to this point. So what's next? You need a function which is in this format. So how are you going to transform this into this? It's by just um, um, bringing either one to the other side. So let's say for instance here, fx equals to, so I would like to remain x squared here, but then I'm actually moving this 18 to the other side, minus 18. So there you go. I got my function to solve using the either bisection or false position method. So you end up with a function like this. And you can start your calculation or computation.